So guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new to the channel, my name is Tommy. On this channel, we talk about mental health recovery from an eating disorders perspective, fitness, nutrition, spirituality, and some random life vlogs. So it would mean the world if you give me a big thumbs up and a subscribe down below. Follow the channel, be notified of future uploads. Today, we've got a something a little di different special for you as well. We're doing a review of Provocan 300 micrograms CBD oil that I actually got sent from me from the company. So stay with us, let's check this out, let's give you my thoughts on this. An honest and opinionated review, I may say. Stay with so us, guys. guys. Welcome back. Here is the Provocan website. As you can see here, here is the product. Fudgy Boy is in the background as always. Full spectrum 300 microgram CBD. And it's $24.99 as well, guys. So great, great price as well. So as you can see, it's award-winning full spectrum CBD formula. Boosted terpene profile for increasing effects. CBD and full range of acto phytocannabinoids. Laboratory tested CBD content verified as well, guys. And obviously you've got a description here as well. Provocan 3% CBD oil for sale contains a guaranteed minimum 300 micrograms of CBD per 10 ml bottle. In other words, you're receiving a mild 1.5 microgram serving of CBD in each single drop. Moreover, Provocan CBD is oil is enhanced with a full spectrum blend of active hemp, cannabinoids, cannabinoids, if I can say that properly, including CBDV, CBG and CBDA. With this additional 0.75% phytocannabinoid content, our 300 microgram CBD tincture contains just under 4% total cannabinoid content. GC, GTCC in other words, in short, in every single bottle, an award-winning CBD oil formula designed for broad use with supreme cannabinoids as well, guys. So the dosage that I actually use for this is it's obviously 200 drops per bottle and obviously you use it two to four drops under your tongue and hold it for 30 seconds as well, guys. So you obviously get the little dropper inside it. I've used this for the last three, four weeks it's done me as well, guys. So it's absolutely great, like I say. You just get the little dropper, as you can see here. The little dropper just comes out and you just put three to four under your tongue. Absolutely amazing. I've felt some great benefits with it, guys. I'm going to get into detail on them as well and show you some of the things that it obviously helps with if you've got any of these illnesses or anything that you may be feeling bit of pain or anything like that at all. It's helped so, so much. I'm going to be 100% honest in some of the things that it hasn't helped with because I don't want to be a fake. That's what I'm not about. Like, I'm going to be honest in the things that it has helped me with and obviously the things that it just hasn't really made a difference in as well, guys. So one of the things that I really was interested in is obviously the use for anorexia. As you know, I've suffered long term with anorexia for, for many, many years. I've seen a lot of people that suffer with anorexia and many other type of eating disorders use CBD oil and it's really, really helped them, obviously with appetite as well, guys. Obviously, this article that I'm about to show you goes into obviously why, what anorexia is. Every single article I'll show you on this video, I'll actually put down in the description below. So don't worry if I miss some things, you can go back and you can check them out and you can obviously make an informed decision for yourself if this product is going to be any use for you as well, guys. But you will get a discount link, 15% off at the checkout. We're using my code TOMMY. So it goes on about what's all the fuss around CBD. CBD is a non-psychoactive component of C cannabis sativa. So don't worry, you're not going to get any higher anything off it, guys. It doesn't contain any of the THC, which is actually in regular cannabis or anything like that. So it's nothing like that at all. This is basically used for pain and things like that. It's used widely and it has had a lot of benefits for a lot of people. Whether that is placebo effect, I don't know, but yeah, it does, does help. So CBD oil for appetite and food sensation, this was something that I was quite interested in because I've seen a lot of people had actually used it for that and it seemed to have really good effects on them as well. So it says when CBD enters your body, it interacts with the CB1 and CB2 receptors. It triggers a variety of different effects in your body due to the fact that the endocannabinoid system exists 
throughout your body, even in your skin. It can have different effects depending on what you're going through. One of the effects the CBD has on your body is to increase your appetite. This was demonstrated in a study conducted by Sherma et al. for the current pharmaceutical design publication. The researchers discovered that CB1 agon agon agonists, sorry, the scientific term to describe anything that triggers the receptor, possess orexigenic effects which enhance appetite as well as increasing the actual reward value of food. It's important to remember that a person suffering from anorexia just doesn't want to get eat, not eat food, but they will lose the positive association we have when we eat food that obviously nourishes. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is what basically happens. It's not that it's not about food. We do want to eat, we just don't have that hunger satiety. We don't obviously, have, we've, our stomachs are shrunken as well, so you don't obviously feel as if you want to be hungry. I don't really feel that it has helped my appetite, I've got to be honest with that, my appetite has been absolutely great for quite a long time. What I would say is it's really, really helped with anxiety. In the last maybe month or so, I was always snapping at people just out of the blue for no reason at all. Since taking the CBD regularly, I feel it's really, really helped me with my anxiety. I really feel calm. My mood has been absolutely great. One thing I would say is maybe helped a little bit with my sleep. My sleep has been really good for the past year or so, but I am getting that extra hour. I'm getting up to like eight to nine hours of sleep each each night now, so that has been a really big benefactor for me. So that is one thing I would say that's really, really helped me. It's obviously been proven numerous researchers that they can help treating depression as well, and that's what I'm talking about as well. Depression, it seems to have lifted all that for me. Obviously as well, my dietary changes that I've made recently as well, which I will discuss in another video, but them combined, I think that has really, really helped a lot, guys. So yeah, that's the, the things that's obviously helped with the eating disorder, but it goes through a lot of things, but obviously what can actually can help with anorexia if that is what you suffer with as well. So another one I want to actually touch over is pain management. I actually suffer a lot with nerve damage below my left knee and I've been suffering a lot with a trapped nerve in the back of my neck just connected to my shoulder which has caused an awful lot of pain. But recently I think it has helped a little. The pain is still there, I must admit, in my neck. I'm not going to lie about that. But it has eased it. So the overview of this is that what they're saying is that Obviously, it helps with, obviously, pain. So, CBD for chronic pain relief, it says, everyone has a cell signaling system known as endocannabinoid system, ET, ECS. Some researchers think that the CBD interacts with a core component of the ECS, endocannabinoid receptors in your brain and immune system. Receptors are tiny proteins attached to your cells. They receive signals, mostly chemical ones, from different stimuli and help your cells respond. This response creates anti-inflammatory and pain relieving effects that help with pain management. This means that CDBD oil and other products may benefit with people with chronic pain such as chronic back pain. One 2018 review assessed how well CBD works to relieve chronic pain. The review looked at studies conducted between 1975 and March 2018. These studies examined various types of pain including cancer pain, neuropathic pain and fibromyalgia that's what i'm talking about about the neuropathic the nerve pain that i've been suffering that has what it's really helped with a lot so a 2016 study looked at cbd use in rats with arthritis i know where we're going here but i would say as well tests in rats to humans they don't always correlate the same so you've got to be a bit critical of that but what they're saying is researchers applied CBD gel to rats for four days in a row. The, re the rats received 0 0.6, 3.1, 6.2 or 62.3 milligrams per day. The researchers noted that reduced inflammation and overall pain in rats affected joints. There were no obvious side effects. Rats who received low doses of 0 0.6 to 3.1 didn't improve their pain scores. The researchers found that 6.2 milligrams a day was a high enough dose to reduce rats' pain and swelling. And it says that the anti-inflammatory and pain-relieving effects of CBD gel could potentially help people with arthritis. However, more human studies need to be evaluated as well. So that's what I'm talking about. 
Obviously, a lot of cancer patients use it. It's known to really, really help that. Like I say, the National Cancer Institute has pointed to CBD as a possible option for reducing chemotherapy side effects such as pain, vomiting, and lack of appetite. My, my wife has obviously suffered with cancer as well. My mum actually looked into that way back in 1997 when it was first really on the market, but then it was really hard to get. So she had actually looked at that for obviously pain as well, but she didn't get around to it. It has been known to help with migraine pain relief. This is one thing I would say as well. I've suffered long-term migraines since 1997 with the loss of my mum. I would say in the last month, I've had no migraines at all. Whether that's connected, I can't say for certain. I wouldn't attribute it to that. I don't want to make claims that are a bit wild and such likes, but I have had no migraines, so maybe that is connected. Maybe it's a change to my diet, but I think it's good to note that as well, guys, that that's a possibility of things that I can obviously do. There obviously is some side effects, it says, but there's side effects with everything. Like I say, the fatigue, diarrhea, changes in appetite, changes in weight. So you've got to take into the benefits and the co the pros and the cons as well, guys. That's what it's all about. But the, the, really, the benefits, I would say, probably outweigh the cons. So, guys, like I say, there's many, many different illnesses that it obviously helps with. It helps with, obviously, diabetes, rheumatoid arthritis, helps with fibromyalgia. There's a lot of different things that it actually helps with. And I think it's basically just trying it out, seeing what you think of it. If it does help you, if it eases even a little bit and gives you a better quality of life in any way, I think it's worth it. But like I say, guys, go and check out their website. It'll all be down in the description below. This is the oil that I'm actually using, the 300 milligram CBD oil. So check that out as well, guys. And like I say, in the description below, there'll be obviously a code for you can use at checkout. You can actually get 15% off as well. So using my code, Tommy. So please check that out. I hope you enjoy this video. Remember, as always, binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. And I'll speak to you all in the next video. Bye bye for now. Binge on life, purge negativity and starve guilty feelings. Speak to you all soon and love you so much.